Clover and uh, start some battles on Great Leap. Today I asked a friend to play for me and he's going to play with Shadow Swampert, Medicham and Sableye Purified. Let's see how this team will perform. So this is a Lantern Leap which is fine for Swampert. This is going to be a Surf. Swampert can tank it nicely. Let's go now for the Sludge Wave. You could run the Earthquake, but my friend is running the Sludge Wave to catch some grass types in the back. Now it's got just swap for Venusaur. Now Sableye has a, a huge farm here. He has to commit the shield here and then farm the rest because Venusaur wins the simp against the Sableye. Okay. And now it's a Gligar. So Sableye has to apply much pressure as can in the Gligar match because Gligar is a spam Pokemon and this is a Shadow one so probably will do massive damage on the Pokemon in the back. Now that Sableye has read from both shields, we'll try to do as much damage as possible with the Shadow Claws and now bring the Medicham and gotta shield this Herial Ace because it does serious damage on Medicham. Now try to catch, nice. Okay, it's the lantern. My friend is under charging, but I guess this was too much. Okay, it's going to be a surf. But I guess Serial Ace won't be enough to KO from this range. I guess it's not enough. So it's going to be a good game. Yeah. GG there. So first win, but I guess that lantern has a move, I'm not sure. So didn't understand why this guy let me throw the energy on Swampert, but it's okay. Let's move for the next battle. It's uh, the worst lead possible. This Pokemon is almost extinct from the current meta, but this Pokemon just destroyed his team. The Charm, Shadow, or Ninetales. It's just too bad for this team. This team is not prepared for that Pokemon. And yeah. Some part will take both shields, I guess, and it's going to be a problem. Yeah, now and just goes for the Sableye, but ain't too much it can do because that thing is just nuts for this team. Yeah, this is GG, and the game only started now. It was a huge wreck. Yeah, Sableye, yeah, forget it. Okay, this shield won't do anything in this battle. You gotta shoot this foul play, but no chance. This game is more than over. Friends just playing for for the fun because Medium can kill Sableye even with one shield. It's just too bad. It's a huge wall for Medium, as you're going to see. This guy just reached another foul play. And it's going to be a good game. Okay, it was returned. This guy was flexing. Let's move for the next battle. So Shadow Swampert is a great Pokemon. It's a it's a squishy Pokemon, but those uh, but that Hydro Cannons are quite strong. So you will get chills with those Hydro Cannons. So this is a Sableye lead. It's a fine lead for Swampert because Swampert reaches first the charge moves. You have to try to pair with the foul plays from your opponent. Okay. So it's forced to shield this to win this battle. And now we'll try to go for the CMP. This guy will commit shield, I guess. Okay. Got a shield again. And now the game plan is to farm all the way this Sableye without spending energy. But this guy just bring Medicham. My friend just goes for Sableye. And Sableye is just a wall for Medicham. No chance. Medicham doesn't have a chance against the. Medicham, the Sableye, sorry, the way it's too much for Medicham to deal with. It's going to be a high punch, but Sableye can tank it. So, now has to throw the energy on the opposite Sableye, because it go, will go down now with that fast move. Now it's a lantern, and let's see. That guy still has a shield, my friend has a Swampert and a Medicham, this will be tough. Let's see if it's possible. So my friend decides to go for the sludge wave. 
not sure if it was the correct play, probably the bait would be better because if that guy decides not to shield for some reason, we'll do extra cheap damage, let's see if it's possible to beat this. Trying with the fence drop, nope. And I guess surf from this range is enough. And not sure if Sumpert can match up down. And like 1 HP. Really close. It was a really close battle. Like I was saying, probably the best game plan there was to throw in two hydro cannons instead of risking that sludge wave. But it was a really close battle, so good game there. For the next one, so this is not that great. This is a leaky tongue leap, not the best leap for Swampert, but not the worst. You know, this guy, when reach 9, has a power rip, so my friend just goes for the bait. Nice. Calling this a bait is risky, so it decides to shield, and now it's for sure it's a, a body slam, and it's not enough to kill from this range. Now goes for the Hydro Cannon. I guess this could be enough, let's see. It was enough. Okay, now it's a Quagsire. It goes for straight Hydro Cannon here. Got a shield there, which is nice. And now, gotta bring Medicham. Because it resists better the charge moves from Quagsire than Sebalai. And this was CMP. <laughs> Sorry. Now goes for the Psychic, this will do massive damage on Quagsire, nice, and now switch for Sableye and faces a Mary Jump. so this is a good game. You know when a Mary Jump faces a Sableye it's GG, unless you don't have a shield and your opponent Mary Jump has two shields, besides that it's impossible to Mary Jump to win this battle. So. Medicham doesn't stand a chance against the Sableye. Now oh, still has shield for the Medicham. Only has to counter this Quagsire and it's good game. So Medicham Sableye proving it's a, a strong core for the current meta. Shadow Swampert is just the a strong pick, but you need shields to cover Swampert, so it's well better played in the lead instead of in the back. Now it's alone Sun Slash Shadow, which is a fine battle for Swampert. You have to watch out for any charge move because that those Shadow Claws will apply damage on Swampert. And now this guy just do a catch. Which was predictable, but it's still fine. No, it's a Medicham. And my friend is building a Hydro Cannon and then switch for the Sableye, which is well played. Because this Medicham is only farm at this range for Sableye. Farm all the way, well played there. I don't see why sponge, but it doesn't matter. Sableye is a huge wall for Medicham. And now it's a Gligar. So the Gligar is the new meta Pokemon becomes more relevant in this current meta because I always received a boost in this meta and Gligar is a, a tanky Pokemon as well it's a bit better than Gliscor in this current meta because it's uh, way bulkier than the Gliscor and now some part will destroy that last shield from Sand Slash and now this guy is forced to throw energy on Swampert that was the game plan there, well played. Now I have to bring Medicham, farm all the way, build the high sponge and then throw it on in the Gligar. But I guess it won't be necessary because that Gligar is so low that you can counter it down and doesn't have enough energy to reach another hair lace. But my friend just goes for the high sponge to guarantee the win and it's going to be a good game. Well played there. So, if you have a Medicham, you have to watch out for Sableye. Sebalai just destroy Medicham. Now receiving a Gible as a reward. Nice reward there. And this was the sets. In the veteran rank with this team, this is getting good results. 
and this was it hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time